Do you see the uh, blight rating, whatever, anywhere? Do you f I haven't found it. I haven't found There's it. There's something on blight recovery. Yeah. Mentor. I don't know. Oh, well. Oh, well. I'll upgrade my yeah. my chorus, and we will pop back. Hmm. Maybe it's kind of tutorialized that at some point one of your characters gets blighted yeah. and you actually have to fix them. It'll just happen when it happens. Yep. I never even saved my changes. Oh, I leveled up. I would have hit level 7 last time if I would have just saved my points. Oops. Yeah, apparently that levels you up too. Okay. Well, I didn't get anything useful. I also don't even know how to uh, select the character that I can apparently be. <laughs> Fair enough. The, the UI, it, I, it definitely, it, I, I don't quite get it. I just don't quite get it. Oh, is Blightbound in the bottom right? Set Blightbound? Make this your Blightbound mage. Cannot be assigned if this hero is Blightstruck. Oh, okay. So I can choose which which warrior <laughs> you can choose which warrior rogue and mage. I didn't get to pick, so I'm sorry I stole your man. It's okay. Um. Uh. I, well. I see easy, normal, I, and two impossibles. I'm gonna go with normal. That sounds like a I, good call. I feel like impossible is beyond me. Me. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I mean, otherwise it would be a short run, so yeah. oh well. Is Let's, it uh, w when we're about to run out of time, when Rito Dad is yeah. knocking on the door, then we just throw it on yes. the possible and die as fast as possible. Sounds great. I gotta remember what this character does now. Swing sword, yell loud, shoot gun in air. We're missing... <laughs> um, yep. Hmm. Four buttons, three characters. Ah. But of course, the the classic quintessential block puzzle. Ah, yep. <laughs> I there was a period of time where I thought block puzzles were were peak puzzle. Yeah. And then and then the credits of Portal ran. Yeah, probably. Actually, yeah, that's probably it. Exactly. It's like. I'm trying to think of other games that have had really good puzzles. I Just I guess when it comes down to it, I always have felt like puzzles are kind of weak in a lot of games. Uh, I grew yeah. up with a game called The Incredible Machine. Which yeah. is just kind of like, here's a sandbox of just random garbage. I, have I th fun. Think I, I think I played it. It would, It's like you just combined a bunch of random things together to make machines. Yeah, exactly. And so yeah. you effectively make just a crazy Rube Goldberg machine yeah. to solve some kind of objective. I played and it, it and I forgot the name. I never knew what it was called, I, I think, until now. I think, I think yeah. you just solved my childhood for a second. <laughs> I have that every once in a while. Oh, on that topic, I played, I've played Mario. Follow the bot, he knows where they are. <laughs> yeah, he's so much better. He's so good. It's because they pre-programmed him to get out of the way. Yeah. Uh, so, I never really played Mario as a kid. Yeah. And, uh, but, like, I remember playing Mario, but I never played any of the official ones, and I was always super confused, because my Mario memories were completely different. You know, World yeah. 1 looked like something else, and I could never understand why. Did you play that weird PC port? Yeah, I played the MS-DOS fake version of... Uh, the the weird MS DOS fake version of Mario that didn't have a fourth level. It just randomly ends. <laughs> and I, I was watching somebody play Mario Maker earlier, and I was just getting that like extreme uncanny valley of like, what yeah. is what is wrong? I need to find this. And so it's like, yeah, no, there's just straight up like a MS DOS. Oh gosh, this is spicy. Uh, this is yeah. You can't find this in Diablo. Nope. Oh my. I like this level. This is this is a nice, a neat change of pace. 
Yeah, I I like it when action RPGs make me think. Whoops. Yeah. Let's not do that. I've come to the conclusion that my character is more of a uh, throw blade and Ooh. and then stay the heck out of yeah. danger. Throw, I don't know how the bot throw. doesn't die. I, I guess I think it's from watching them. It seemed like it had to do with a lot of really well timed iframe dodges. dodges. Yeah. Yeah. But like timed only so well that a bot could do it. Yep. Oh. Oh, wait, I don't have a stun. That's right. Oh! But I... There we go. There was that... There was also, like, a Donkey Kong sequel. Like, an original Donkey Kong sequel that had, like, really blinding flashing lights and, like, 4th of July fireworks going on all the time. I, I, think, I think it came out around the same time. And I don't know why. I don't know why. I just thought of that now. Oh, cool. New Rogue. Oh, did we actually recruit her, or is she just a uh, bonus? Oh. She she showed up on my up at the top middle for me. I think she's okay. I was not paying full attention. Yeah. But like, so it it just gets to world four, and then it just stops. They just didn't have enough yeah. space. Yeah, there was. I I think they just gave up on development and put it out. <laughs> was there and, like at least a screen that says "Congratulations, you are winner"? They I. Maybe they added it, but like, what it amounted to on my end was very much a. Uh, you get to the end, and it would just kind of drop you into a hole, and it would be this endless black. I don't know if it was procedurally generated or what, but it was like a. A perpetually descending staircase. Huh. And it was just the weirdest thing. That out. Oh, it was the weirdest thing, and I could never understand what or why, and I never even considered the fact that it could be a bootleg. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. That guy's pretty cool. Do you ever end up with any of those like bootleg Pokemon games on I, like kind of a fake Game Boy? I never like, did, but I always want. I I want. <laughs> I wanted. I wanted bootlegs, and I never really. Got... Yeah, well, like I just I'm fascinated by it. I'm super fascinated by it. I don't know why, but like I feel I... like I'd want to play like the digital versions of them, but I'd never want the physical thing because who knows where the hell it's made? And there's like something about bootlegs that just inherently feels skeezy to me. Yeah, uh... but like I I want like it'd be fun to have a collection of ones that were like very clearly. Yeah, like like they were changed to be like yeah. a completely different property that shouldn't be there or something. I I think that'd be fun, but not yeah, not in yeah, place not in place of the the real thing. Like I'd want the real thing too. I don't I don't know. I I don't emulate anything or anything. So, and I'm not just saying that because I, I'm live on the the internet. <laughs> I. I have mixed feelings on emulation. If I could get my hands on it in a much more like official capacity, uh, yeah. I would. Yeah. My biggest issue with a lot of games that like need emulation is there is no feasible way for me to get or potentially record it in yes. a lot of cases. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Which is usually why I just don't even touch them. I've already got a billion games. Why, yeah. Why emulate something else in anyway? But yeah. Well. Some oh. part of me really wishes that, like, uh, Sony would just, I don't know, republish all of their old games from, yeah. like, the PS2 era as just, like, Mega Packs or It'd be cool. put it on the PS5. Like the Pizza, 20... Pizza Hut Underground Demo Disc 2 2020 Edition. Did yeah, you ever get sure. those? I got a couple of them. But it was in the form of... Uh, I guess that's how I got the Mario thing. My dad would get MS DOS discs from his coworkers. Oh. And so it would just be like a bunch of shareware demos of DOS games. Hmm. Oh my God. <laughs> these are some, these are some actually like you actually have to pay attention to them. Dodges, yeah. which I I genuinely like. That's always been my I like I love Diablo. Like, to a, a ridiculous amount, but you do not have to like 
uh, do much. No, there was it's that a is zen, no brain zone. It's a zen simulator. Like, yeah, that's wrapped up as a, a dark, gritty, very serious thing, but it's just a zen simulator. Yep. The kind of perfect podcast game where you just, yeah. like, load it up, run around hitting things. Occasionally somebody talks to you, and you wonder if you... Oh, boy. What? Uh, you wonder if you should... I think you can just roll through that one. I can't. Oh. I don't get iframes oh, on mine. Oh, right. Oh, my. I gotta remember to just follow the bot around. That's the real answer. Yeah. He, he, he knows what he's doing, and he's, he's got a teleport, too, I guess. Oh, now that... Wait. Oh, I thought they were doing the lasers while the enemies were here. That would be extra. Oh, boy. Let's see. Speaking of the uh, the guy that I played with, I guess in your absence. <laughs> uh, New Rita. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> I, I got to say, you two are the most positive two people I've met ever, mm. I think, on YouTube. Which is kind of off-putting. I was like... <laughs> It was Uncanny Valley, because it was different, <laughs> like super clearly different, Reno. but the vibe was the same. You got a bootleg. <laughs> I did get a bootleg. <laughs> I don't know if you'd appreciate it. No, that. I know. I, it's just, it's one of those Ow. times where it's just, <laughs> it's just too, it's too perfect for the conversation. I must. Oh, course. Wait, of course is the bot. Oh my god. Oh. Um. Um. Okay, see. I don't know if I can. Up. Oh boy. Chorus, come to me. Oh Stop my. running from me. <laughs> here, I'll, ta I'll taunt okay, him and he's... run down here. Okay. Uh, okay. I thought he was going to heal. Oh, he did heal. Oh my goodness. This is. Spice. This was a this was a normal rank one. Yep. Oh my gosh. Uh, Ow. I. Oh. You really do need that iframe on the dodge. It's not great for getting away. Oh, got one. Yeah. It's it's really it is for dodging like dodging attacks in the moment. Sorry, chorus. You don't get to be here for this one. <laughs> <laughs> The odd part is, like, if you just weren't near the bosses, you pretty much wouldn't take damage there. Yeah. Uh, so I'm not sure why it was taking so much. I would like to try Chorus for a round, but... Yeah, he's he's pretty neat. He's pretty neat. The I, I brought up, like, Bloodline Champions Battle Right because he very much feels like a character from that, where all, all of the supports, like, you get to do just as much as you would do on an actual damage character. You don't yeah. just feel like you're sitting it's back waiting for the meter. Active. Yeah, it's like you yep. have everything was a skill shot. You have to hit your skill shots to stun, to heal, to do all of that. Which is it's kind of it's kind of fun to like try and get in the headspace of the your friend or the person you're with. Like how how do they dodge? Because I need to hit them too. <laughs> Which is pretty fun. Hmm. Mouse. This desert mouse. Her name is just Desert Mouse. They all have their own, like, little stories and everything, too. So, Mouse this is less is of a life. backstabber. This is the life. Uh, I go wherever yeah, so she me. just does I'm extra basic attack, uh, basic attacks from any right angle, and it does up to 200% more Let damage, whereas Scarlet is, you just do double damage always from behind. Yeah. That's kind of neat. I, I like that. Yeah. It's a little a, bit it, of flavor. It seems like a clever way of adding, you know, ma making it so they are different without having to add, like, a too much extra work. I'm very curious to see them pump out the fourth class and see what that could be like, because all of the characters feel incredibly different from each other. Yeah. Like, 100% different. Hmm. Ooh. Let me try this out. 40% skill damage. Let's give this that seems a like a lot. I don't know if it applies after. I, I'm so confused from, like, percentage damage because of Hades. I'm like... <laughs> I'm like... <Yeah. laughs> it's plus 40%. 
and there's like every but it's all just kind of like stacked on each other additively but then there's like yeah. two exceptions in the game as well and i'm like i can never remember yeah. what they are i think it's like the base aries one might be one of the exceptions i can't even remember i don't i still don't even know to this day oh, oh i see how this oh boy did you get the blacksmith the oh uh probably oh bounty i got a a crystal one of the ethery crystals uh where the heck is the blacksmith oh they're over quartermaster what i i yeah so I, oh, where, wow. where is the blacksmith i, I guess i did so talk to the talk to the elder uh yeah, talk to the elder. Go to recruit. It'll be the second tab on the. Oh, top. there. Ah. And find blacksmith. Long, I uh, see. Yeah, so it lets you it lets you combine low tier items into higher tier items, and boy howdy, some of the high tier stuff is very worthwhile. Okay. Yeah. So, I legendary trinket. Your team heals five hundred percent extra when players pick up a mana orb. Yeah, that sounds pretty great. Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Corpse cutter. Seems kind of uh, not like a very good use of time. Like, just cut the uh, cut the pre-corpse. Let me try this out. <laughs> turn, 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 like, like cut the, uh, cut a dead horse. Yeah. In <laughs> Dodge skill. The the Gungeon in me wants just like this 8% dodge skill cooldown times two on every character. But, okay, so, wow. <laughs> it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty streamlined, the blacksmith thing, but it feels overwhelming to look at. Yeah, it just takes a moment. It takes a moment. And Oh my. It would be nice if you could set, like, categories. Like, give me weapons, give me trinkets, and give me... Yeah. Yeah, because there are those categories normally. You just can't change them here. Oh, huh, weird. Yeah. Right. yeah. Oh, one way or another. I'm, I'm gonna ready. go. I'm ready whenever. Yeah, yeah. Hello. Oh. Merchant. And so, it looks like you've actually selected uh, Mouse. So you can't... Oh. You can play specifically as her. I don't know how I did it, but I'm cool. Can't change the... I, I guess maybe because I was on her sc stat screen <laughs> Well, I did it. I don't know. I definitely didn't, like, actually select, hey, I want to be this character, so... Yeah, it was fun. Yeah. Well, I'll, f I'll figure it out. Tough. Impossible, tough, easy, normal. What do you think? A normal uh, again? Oh, uh, yeah... Normal seemed kind of the sweet spot of, we can't just no-brain through this. Yeah. Hey, now I'm the healer. There you go. Anyway, it I was going to bring up for uh, <laughs> not-so-knockoff Rito. Oh, uh, he might be a guy to ping for a Diablo hardcore. Yeah. Could, it's, it's always been the that, thing where I, I never knew, I never I could never find enough people who are in, would be interested in it. I think Jonas likes I, it. I, okay. But good luck getting Jonas yeah. for anything. Is this all Pretty have? much. He's good for memes. He's great. I, I did my first episode of Solo Wholesome Craft. Uh, last night I recorded it. And I... <laughs> and Jonas was on. And I said, hi, I said, hi, Jonas. And he said, hi. And I say, say hi to YouTube. And he said, uh-oh. And then it said, Jonas, <laughs> Jonas died to lava. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Just literally immediately. <laughs> I I can't tell if he's memeing or I I, I don't know. I think it's just a, like I think it's half and half. Uh, he's a wonderful wonderful man. Oh. I did forget what my class does. I know it's what is it? We we I stab and then I right click to your, your chakra which is pretty dang good oh yeah and i did uh, i upgraded my skill damage by 40 percent, so i should probably use that and warp oh okay so i have a different whoa <laughs> that's pretty cool yep that's instead of the invisible okay okay 
Yeah, yeah, so you'll just warp to the nearest enemy and do a bunch of damage to them. That's pretty cool. At least I'm pretty sure that's the case for it. Sure seems like I... it. I hope it'll go directly at the enemy, otherwise... Aim and a dash seems a little... a little tough. Yeah. Just a bit. They're blocking our way. Ooh, okay, I love it. Ah. Ah. I really have to get used to the fact that I, I warp to where I'm aiming. Yeah, you got that little little teleport that... thing. Wow, what is that? Okay, that must have been an enemy attack. Oops. Yo! Oh. <laughs> yeah, going for uh, skill damage seems like it might be busted. Just like... Yeah, I know there's an item that gives you like a flat damage bonus as well. Ooh. <laughs> also, I'm just always a sucker for anything like for, like with the barbarian, just anything that lets me jump up into the air. Yep. It adds verticality I... to a game that shouldn't have it. <laughs> uh, getting Great Leap for Chapter 2 in Diablo 2 was always just the most insane thing. Yeah. It always felt so good. It's like, hey, you know this like horrible labyrinth that's impossible to navigate? Yeah. Not anymore. With the, the goat men. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Wait, what's... Th oh, it's an... Yo, okay. That is that what you're talking about? The thing that's the enemy attack? Yeah, the, like, giant wild spine thing I, that makes yeah. no sense. I think it's a, it's a wall and an attack. At the same time. This seems like the perfect drunk on a Friday night well, college no, game. Name. Yeah, it's like, hey, do you like Castle Crashers, but you want to try a bit more? Yeah. But, like, you don't want to try too much. Yeah, where your stats actually matter as opposed to just kind of determining what what specific role you're in. Yeah. Is there always stuff over here? I think there is. Usually, like, a secret mini boss. Hello. Yep. The one that wrecked us. Yep. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Yeah, that skull is terrifying. Ah. Oh my god. Mount Boris and I are back here. Sorry, I'm just dying. It's okay. There you go. I just... I'm not used to this whole dodge where your mouse is thing. So I keep dodging... Yeah. Okay. I've, I've got to heal. I've just got to... Oh! Got to find you. Oh, yeah, never it's, okay. Mind. it's okay. It's okay. Just poke from afar. I, you can get me in a second. Oh! There. Okay. Heal. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> Overkill. Jump jump up in the air and suplex a box. <laughs> <laughs> Just got to get that gold. It's a very Disgaea maneuver. I, I don't know what Disgaea is, and at this point I'm too afraid to ask. It's okay. It's a, uh, it's just a JRPG, but all what, the attacks are like really over the top after a certain point. It, what is it that, it, what's what's unique about it? Because I hear so many people talk about it. The plots are kind of decent. Uh, it kind of avoids a lot of standard JRPG tropes, which okay. inherently makes it more interesting. Already a step up. Yeah. Uh, but interestingly enough. You know in most games how the grind is, like, super boring? Yeah. This guy comes out the other side and becomes interesting again. Like, the grind is is still still a fun part? He kind of, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I, I'd almost have to, like, talk to Vladimir about it just for a little bit to see what his thoughts are before I could really put it into words. Yeah. I just always liked it because the plots were actually, like, pretty decent. The Worth paying attention I, to. Whenever I play... Yeah, whenever I play anything, like, specifically, like, a, a Japanese game, I find myself hating one or all of the characters. Yeah. And that usually they either exhibit some kind of really crappy trope or some kind of overt, uh, 
Oh wait, do we have to? We have to, we have to do work? something here. Probably. I guess we just have to hit. Wait, do we oh, have to hit all the reach buttons? Oh, the treasure before the time runs out. Oh. Uh, yep, we got boop. distracted. It's okay. I didn't. I was not. Not ready to it's try. Okay. Thank you. But, but so, in the Disgaea games, at least, some of the characters are trophy, but none of them feel hateable, which is something that I rather appreciate. Yeah. It seems like a massive plus. I Is it... I, I feel like whenever I hear J, JRPG, I, the first thing that comes to my mind is, I don't have time for it. It's, is it, is it yes. like a... Is it a, oh, yeah. a very much a long experience? Always. I don't think I've ever played a reasonable length JRPG. Yeah. It seems like it's generally, like, part of it. Which, I don't know. And that's why I liked, um, uh, b b b b Star Renegades. It's, a, it's, yes. it's, it's like a compact JRPG. Yeah, I, I beat my first run of that game and I was like, and I'm done. This yeah. was good. I liked this. I, I, lo I really, like, I yeah, loved no my first mind. run and I, I, I would like to go back and do a second run because it seems like you can... You can change up a decent amount, it seems like. More than I thought you'd be able to. But, one of those things where it's just like, eh, well, you know, people stop being interested. So it's like, I could I could keep going, but there's just so much to play. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there's just no time. There's never time. I have time. their previous game, and it's like, oh, this is a fantastic game. Oh, no, this is way too long. Yeah. And so every major update was about making the game shorter. <laughs> Which I kind of appreciated. We're going yeah. down, by the way. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah, it says lock. It has a lock there, of course. Yeah, hey. we, we've got the time limit of uh, get back to the Great Bell Tolls left. Like, yeah. I think we're on a timer. Okay. I wish that it showed yeah. you on the minimap. It's kind of weird it doesn't. Ultimate power. Oh, like where I am. Yeah, it doesn't show. Point. It, it. It's kind of weird. <laughs> <laughs> for there, there's like a couple a couple little things that have to do with the uh, if it's going to be like very much focused on a like a party based system. Yeah, like, being like able to see that other player putting another player huge. on the map would be a big deal. Like it, it is, it does help that they have to be in the uh, the little environment you're in. Like they can't be too far, but still, some of the rooms are kind of big. Also, map button, like just a regular old map button. Quick heal. Oh. Ow. Whoop. Oh no. Oh. Oh no. Not this again. What's the what's the strat for these ones? Uh. Did, are these the clone gosh, makers? I've already forgotten. Oh, they're the ones where stay away from Big Skull. I think is is their strategy. Yep. Here, I'm gonna make you invincible. Oh no, I made myself invincible. Well, that's okay. I mean, they I know they put on uh, they put scary circles on ground. That's like step one that they do. I'm just yeah the yep. oh go <laughs> virtual virtually immortal. Oh, you're down. Okay. Yeah yeah yeah. It's okay. He's got their attention. Here, oh, no. you got oh, a shield. You. Okay, okay. I'll try to make use of it for now. Woo! Before it inevitably goes away. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Scary skull. I'm probably okay. going to go down again just to... Oh, thank you. Yep. Yep. Oh, mana orb. There we go. There we go. There we go. I'll follow you around like a puppy. There we go. There you go. Yeah, it's, it's like the just the right amount of attention needs to be paid. And yeah, it's, and it's like without being too punishing. Yeah, if you goof. It's like the fact that you can. It would be so annoying if there was like if you go down, you're down forever. Yep. That like I'm so, games like that. I just don't like that. I just don't like that. So part of the reason why we're not getting blight, by the way, is because we are playing with each other. Every adventure oh. reduces our blight by 15. So there's a very real possibility we don't gain any blight at all. That could probably be why we don't see any. <laughs> yeah, that uh, that would make sense. Ooh, lifesteal. I could get a lifesteal hey. item. 
Okay. More, more, more. Do you want to do a uh, a super tough one? I I could do a super tough one. Uh, who do you want to be? I Me. Mean, is there anyone that you have you feel like you haven't played as much as you wanted to to, to see them all? Because I have seen them all by now. I've yeah, gotten... I've I've seen them all too. So okay. I'm up for whomever. Okay. I feel like I, I kind of want to just be this desert mouse again. I kind of I kind of okay. like it. So whichever you want to be. I'll, I'll be Malboris again. Malboris. Okay. Okay. Especially if we have a bot, I think I am going to go for a lifesteal item. <laughs> that sounds like a good call. Okay. <laughs> what do you think of the art style? And, and like the 2D like and 3D kind of... I. I always have a soft spot for 2D, mm -hmm. mainly just because that's what I can do. So whenever I, I see 2D stuff, I'm like, oh, I know how they do that. Yeah. I know exactly how they do that. Or if I don't, then I'm really interested. Whereas yeah. 3D, I'm much more disconnected to. And yeah. it also just always feels stiffer. Even though, like, in a lot of cases, like 2D, I'm looking at Mel Boris's heaving chest and it just looks kind of dumb. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Well, how do we feel about this? Impossible, or we could do very hard. I can't imagine that's going to be much fast, easier. It says it has five monsters instead of six. Here, I see impossible seven monsters. Let's go all in. Okay. Nope. It looks like it's going to probably flip a coin. Oh. Yep. I did. I didn't know that we were. Gonna, we I go. didn't change mine. All right. Well, very hard is probably still going to be uh, very hard. I would imagine. Well, no, I think this is this is the impossible one. It popped up for me. Oh, yours said impossible? Yeah. Oh. Mine said very hard. Oh, my God. New quest, use the blood skull. What? Place the blood skull on top of one of the altar's pillars. Uh. Oh, we get to choose our path. Oh. That's pretty cool, too. I, I'm impressed by this. I, I, I there's more to this yeah. than I thought. I, I, I think that it could, uh, with some updates I, too. I think it could be really yeah. good. Yeah. Well, I think it's, it really it's only early access right now, so yeah. That gives. Sorry, Mel Boris is currently yelling. Uh, <laughs> it's it's only early access, so there's a fair bit of time before this gets good. Question yeah. Mark? Yeah. And I, I, I think it had like a, a rocky start due to the fact that it just, you know, you there were no bots until like a couple updates ago, which I think is a very fair thing to be like, kind of like, eh, I don't know about that. Yeah. For because I, I, I almost didn't play it. Rough to begin with, and yeah. so having a, having bots just in general. Uh, did you ever play Guild Wars or no, not really? Yeah. Yeah. Totally. I, I was a huge fan of Guild Wars One. But the window of opportunity to even play the campaign quickly closed, uh, especially yeah. once you know some of the expansions started coming out, and it was, it was just kind of brutal playing it because it was just like, all right, so I guess we'll find like a henchman healer. And eventually, I had to roll monk just so I'd have a chance at seeing the end of the game. Yeah, I, I, I was really. It's one, Guild Wars was one of those games where I played it for a bit and I like adored it. The first one, I, I I adored it. Yeah. And I just like stopped. I just stopped. I don't know. I just fell off. I think it's because I just can't yeah. ju can't juggle more than one MMO. And it's like a, Guild Wars one especially is like a very weird, like different feeling MMO. There's something it, about it. It it was much more story focused because it played yeah. like a, just a co-op game with kind of some MMO bits here and there. Yeah. I almost feel like it would have been better if they just gone for like a Diablo loot system. Yeah. And just never had it be in a strict MMO. We can go this to my collection. Uh, let's see. But so the what is it? The second expansion? Mm -hmm. Uh Nightfall just added player bots. And so if you if you had one friend you could play through the entire game without having to worry about anything. And that was so nice. That is that is nice. 
it's like uh, I, I like that games are having they have more of like like World of Warcraft added the so, to there's some thing to be said in both directions for it the adding looking for raid to it yeah now, uh, it I really like it because I've always been very into raiding like in World of Warcraft and now like the expansion comes out uh, and like I will go in to play the expansion like right before it's about to die like i'm probably gonna go in and play whatever the heck uh battle for azeroth's like raid stuff through the looking for raid system soon and then just like ditch it just because i want to see it before it becomes yeah. out outdated and it's basically impossible to play again in its like natural form and i, yeah. I like that for I, for me i think they're making it slightly more accessible with the squish though from yeah what I I, that, that could totally be oh yeah Oh. Wait. Is it? Is it not? Is this? Did we not have it right? Do we have another skull? But of course, we opened up the bottom right. gate with the right skull. <laughs> <laughs> but of okay. course, this makes sense. Yeah. But uh, it's also like how Hades has, you know, Hades has the story mode where it's just like, you know what? It's just. If you want to see the story, play this. It's not, yeah. not do whatever. Who cares? I like that. But at the same time, it, it like there is there's some like heart uh, of World of Warcraft that I feel like got lost when, you know, for for the raiding scene when that that comes in, and I I do understand that. Uh, yep. I. Oh, here we go. We have to actually stand on this. Yeah. Uh, I think a lot of it just came down to you no longer had to know the people you were playing with exactly. as much as you used to and so you lose that sense of community yeah flip side a lot of the people i raided with were terrible folks. it's so true it's so true it's like like i it was yes i totally 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 um but i i think that yeah losing that little thing where it, it both was super annoying to like have to sit in the main city you know, for 20 minutes or 30 minutes or whatever, looking for, need one more yeah. DPS for for this raid to fill out because our guild doesn't have enough in this this team or whatever. Don't stop me now. And it, I think that, I don't know, I guess it's it's just like an optics thing where like it maybe felt more special just because it took more effort to start than when you got in and like it would probably fail, but then next week you yeah. get in and you would succeed, it would feel amazing. Because yeah, you I, went through so many extra hoops too. Maybe that's I, just I absolutely it. agree. I I remember all of my like really early runs in classic. You know the just going into the dungeons, trying to find people, not being able to find a tank. So yeah. I just Jeez, decided to try and like off tough it out as my shaman. Yeah, off <laughs> Yeah, and like not even off taking... just a shaman. <laughs> yeah, See, and just taking out those. Van Cleef with a bunch of just random people that like kept made it work and yeah. i remember that to this day i don't remember Ex half of my like uh looking for group runs because they were too yeah. smooth yeah like the, the the ones i remember was where i queue up with a friend and we would intentionally play terrible <laughs> uh so oh god what was it We would do. It was one of the like bronze dragon ones, uh, the one where Arthas loses his mind uh, uh, for the fir calling very first of time. Strathome? Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Imagine calling of Strathome, but literally never stopping, uh, <laughs> which works great when your group knows what they're doing. But instead, it was just me as a healer, him as a tank, and our poor DPS was just like weeping because they had to sprint to keep up with the <laughs> both of us. It was so good. Yeah. But like half the other ones, no. And yeah. one year out the other. Yeah, I don't really remember. I, oh. I I definitely like I definitely remember, especially like f doing some of the dungeons for the first time too. I remember that. Yeah. And then. Yeah, that sense of discovery was great. Yeah, and that's why like the thing is for with looking for raid being introduced, you can you could join the raids of like whatever, twenty five people, and you could you could legitimately do actually nothing. And the raid and would still and still win. Yeah. 
So that's yeah. like that's kind of what I would do. I would join and I would do like basically nothing but literally just take in the environment because I've always just been fascinated by dungeon designs and everything in MMOs. So I would just go yeah. in and look. I would just watch basically and see what what it's like cuz I don't know. It feels like you're going to it feels like you miss out if you don't see that content when it's like supposed to be seen. There was a sweet spot for a little while back before they made healing hard again and the raids harder uh, that I very specifically remember by but uh, I, I remember there was a sweet spot where healing was comically easy save for like one or two fights so I just sit there as a heal over time druid just, just watching yeah. Like occasionally, you know, just chucking whatever the team heal on and then going back to watching for a while. And it was very, a very cathartic and very enjoyable. Yeah. Just turn on. Shit, I wonder if they did the levels squish at this point. I don't know. It's about that time where I'm going to, Cause that... to, to, to destroy the little amount of free time I have yep. <laughs> and go play. It's about that time. The new, the new, they, they delayed the expansion for the first time ever for obvious reasons. Yes. But they said they were still going to do the squish, which is ultimately yep. what I care about. Yeah. Because, like, I, I I, like World of Warcraft, oh my but God. I don't have 120 hours worth of no. World of Warcraft in me anymore. No, no, no. Or no, not no. hours, 120 levels worth. I don't even know what that translates to hours, but that's scary. Yeah. Well, oh. I have, like, I, if I go back now, I, like... I don't even know which character I play. I feel like I have, like, 20 max levels from all the special events they do where they're like, come join now, and you get a free yep. max level. Join now, and the experience is up 50%. I'm like, every time I see that, I'm like, well, it's my time to go in and get another another alt to max level that I'm not going to play <laughs> yep. ever again. I probably am just going to roll my druid again and just not think about it. Yeah. Whoa. Oh. Wait, they're doing especially the, after they added the uh, dual spec. It's like, all right, that's oh yeah, there we go. That's easy. By by squish, like they're are they they're speeding max, up leveling process levels, or they're max just level goes down to sixty. Yeah, that. But are they like, are they making it uh, faster? Sort of. They're making it so that you can get from one to fifty in any of the expansions. I love that. I love that. Yeah. Because, like, I, I never spent any time in any of the expansions. I have no idea what ever happened in Pandaria. Because yeah. I would be in Pandaria for five levels. Yeah. Which was, like, half of the first zone. It's and true. And I would just leave. It's true. That being said, I was, like, kind of neutral on Pandaria. But, you know, it, it's fun to see. Fun to see once. The only expansion I never, I never played when it was live was Cataclysm. Ooh. Uh... What are we missing? <laughs> what are we missing? <laughs> oh, oh, there's a puzzle on the back. Oh my god! In the background. We're just yeah. we're not giving the the game credit is what's happening. Like, no, I, we're not. We're just like it not work. All <laughs> torches bright. What to do? <laughs> yeah. I, well, I mean, just like it's because it's a it's a Diablo s kind of like action RPG sort of yeah. thing. So you're like. The puzzle's not going to require you to think. It's going to be literally make all thing bright. Yeah. <laughs> make all shiny, make all bright. But no. Make some shiny, make most bright. Oops. Yeah. Well, for an impossible dungeon, this ain't bad. It's not yet. Yeah, we've absolutely fallen into that podcast mode even if it is impossible it's just kind of like it's Diablo just walk forward hit yeah. dude care a little bit and then keep going so so on yours you did see you saw impossible because I feel like I, I thought it was like yeah. the Mario Kart system where I pick one and you pick one and then it just like and then it randomizes between the choices but and on mine I saw very hard but let's yeah. just say it's well, impossible because then I'll feel better very impossible. Very, <laughs> very impossible. Oh. Now she has no, even more worse. tentacles. Yeah, she's even got tentacles for biceps. <laughs> oh, boy. Ow. It's the skulls. Don't 
the only thing. Oh boy. Chorus, please. Thank you. This is gonna be where we're gonna, it's gonna be really put to the test, the bot healer. I, so the far, so question fun. is, yeah, so far so actually decent. He's real bad with his shields, I've noticed. I don't, yeah. you are very good with them in comparison. I mean, ow, it's kind of like, well, cause it's, like, how do you program presumption, you know? Yeah. You have to. I, I feel like if they figured out the code to make those characters, uh, the, this character, know when to put on uh, the shield correctly, then we got an AI uprising. Uh. Music's dang good. Yeah, I'm like, this fight is good, like cool. Yeah. And good. Phase two. We've entered phase two. This really feels like a yeah, like a party, party MMO dungeon thing here. Oh no! I, which is something I beg for. I think with a lot of games that, like, if if MMOs could function like this fully, yeah. And I think we're maybe like a couple years from that. Yeah. Oh. Oh my! I'm still alive. Is he? Oh. There Dirt we go. Healed. There we go. DPS phase! DPS phase! Yeah, this is full on. Oh, this is full on yep. MMO dungeon right here. This and then now we're in Watch phase two still. Oh! Yeah, the skull is like. That's the thing that I really need. If I get Ooh. touched by that for a second, I'm gone. Oh, what? Oh! I missed something. I clearly missed uh, some obvious attack. Okay. Oh boy. I might be. Does he have you up? Uh, he seems like he's gonna. Tr nope, he teleported away. Okay, coming, coming. Oh, he's, now he's trying. Oh god. Oh no. Okay, that's bad. We lost him. This is grim. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Nope, I'm did you, down. Did you get? Okay. I'm just yeah, I'm I was just, trying. There's just too much on the screen. Yeah. I think we were doing decent. We were doing decent. Just too much on the screen. I mean, and for how tough it was supposed to be, I think we did a pretty good job. I was impressed by yep. it. And that was a very cool yeah. final fight there. Mouse's yeah. Blight struck. Oh. Yeah. I'm, so I think the other thing is we needed to win harder. Ooh. Yeah. But I got some actually decent loot there. So it's not like uh, that was that terrible. Yeah, Blightbound Assassin is now Scarlet. Okay, so yeah, sh so she got Blightstruck. Maybe they make made it so you can't be Blightstruck until you have another character too, or something, so that there's like a mm. a backup. I don't know. Cannot be queued because of Blightstruck. Yeah, neat. Neat. I don't know. I'm uh yeah. Th there's there's quite a bit to it that I that I like for sure. Ooh. Yeah, I'm actually really digging this trinket system. Yeah. I want to mess with it more, but I think we have just enough time for one very easy one if there's available. Let's do it. I'll hit. Who or here? Who do you want to be? Who do you want to be? I'm just gonna keep rolling, Melboris. We're doing very easy. I feel like I want to pull out my new uh my new character here. Cooldown reduction, skill, oops, skill Ooh, damage, cooldown reduction. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna be a damage mage. At least, whatever. Plus 200 damage, flat damage to both Very titan so skills. Not. That's weird. That's cool. Is that the one oh, you were talking about? Every time, uh, yeah, yeah. So hmm. apparently every time a hero completes a dungeon, they gain a level up to a maximum of eight. Okay. Huh. Easy, very hard. Well, the easy. Far right one. Easy. Easy. One monster. <laughs> one mo one monster in the entire dungeon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is just my get home. There and it's just like. <laughs> <laughs> He's on it's the just toilet. Like this old, old grandma <laughs> goblin. It's just like, welcome, I, I brought tea. And it's just like. <laughs> mud. Ooh. Did you see the. <laughs> It's so good. Do you see the visual on that uh, that gravity well attack? 
No, I didn't. I'll, I'll show have you. to pay more attention. I'll show you when it's up. It's, it's pretty dang neat. Here. Right here. Wow. Yep. That actually would be really nice. Because there are definitely a lot of points where the enemies are just a little spread out. Yeah. And having them all in one direction would make a huge difference. Yeah, yeah. So like, how much longer are you trapped in uh, <sighs> internet limbo? If you would ask me yesterday, you don't know. Uh, if you would ask me yesterday, I would say maybe like a couple days. But I got new information today that I may not have internet for the rest of the month and maybe halfway into next month. What? Yeah. So is this supposed to be one of those situations where your house was supposed to be hooked up, but it actually wasn't? Kind of, basically, yeah. Ouch. Like, so something happened. The, the other people had internet or something. I thought. But I don't. I, I don't. I don't know. They like. I'm getting lied to all over the place. So it's it's hard to piece together what information's even real. But yeah. <laughs> basically, the there's like there's contractors who are doing work and they need to. They have until the end of the month to do it. So I sure hope that they're gonna do it. Because if they don't, then they have to find another set of contractors, and then it could be two months. <laughs> it could be two I months had. then. I have had bad experience with contractors. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. But we'll see. We'll see. It could be it could be a week. But probably not. I, I'm glad well, that I at least I have a workable solution. Yeah. If I would have moved in yeah, the other is... direction, I wouldn't have family by me and then there'd be no chance. Yeah. I'd be toast as hell. I would have to yep. record and then upload from a oh instead of a coffee shop for two hours <laughs> i when we moved here uh the house that we moved into didn't have uh like it was a terrible house and i i had absolutely like whiffed it on picking the place out uh mm. mainly they had all the windows open we didn't realize let's see unfortunately mel boris is once again yelling at me yeah uh so yeah, Shell's not present, so she she takes no credit for my my goof here. Yeah. Uh, but they had all the windows open, and apparently this was to mask the fact that the house had black mold. Oh, <laughs> fun. Yeah. So when we when we uh, actually properly moved in, it smelled awful and like super musty, which was wild because it shouldn't have. And so like we spent one night there and woke up feeling ill. And so, yeah. more or less, we're like, yeah, no, we can't stay here. Yeah. We're going to go find some other place. And so, it was, like, scrambling to find, like, okay, what kind what kind of internet can I get as a de facto homeless person? Yeah. The answer is actually decent, but I really didn't want to spend my time uh, uploading video, recording awkwardly in, like, an empty living room, and then uh, uploading in a McDonald's. Or, yeah. I guess not empty living room, in a hotel. Um, yeah. Yeah. Eventually found a hotel, a couple of hotels with decent internet, but only for, like, the first, like, until 5 p.m. or something, and then the internet would just go to shit. Oh. So I just, uh, it was weird making it work. Yeah. But, yeah, you gotta, gotta, gotta do we, what you gotta do. McDonald's and all. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, I, the good news is, yeah, most of the stuff... I'm glad I'm not like a FPS, you know, only streamer or something. Or if I, like, yep. then it would be so much worse. If I couldn't record some stuff I, offline, it would be so much tougher. That's always been one of my major sticking points when I see people that are just going all in on streaming. I'm like, that is the most untenable position you can be in. And I would hate it. It seems tough, yeah. To have, like... It would just have added so much more stress. Like, the fact that I've been able to just be like, well, I mean, sorry, I can't really stream right now. And it's like, yeah. and that's okay? And the fact that I can yeah, live? Yeah, your audience is like, all right, cool, we'll see you yeah. whenever. Okay, Do don't stop Hades, though. Is <laughs> yeah. Is basically, Ready? basically, yes. Gunjin Wen, uh, basically. I don't, I still, I still don't get that. There was like a, when, when it was free on Epic, I got it. And then, other than that, I don't get it. It's been nice. I think it's because after a certain point, anybody that's still watching Gungeon from you 
when is purely just there for you yeah yeah that that was kind of my thought and they're also like we want something to play that's not gungeon please show us something yeah. <laughs> you know like so it's like the natural jump was then then neon abyss and then it's like well hades, hades. then probably something else noida yeah noida i'm sure have you played noida or not yeah really? yeah yeah I played I played a decent amount of Noida. I quote unquote beat it, and that and then I I've, stopped. I've never beaten it. I just modded it to heck, deleted yeah. everything, and then crashed the game so hard <laughs> that it was non-functional. Yeah, that's <laughs> that seems it seems like the kind of game that's uh, it feels like that's just that's, up the alley of that game. Yeah, that know. that's what should be the end. Anything else is yeah. just not playing. The right. end is the game crashing. The, the only thing that yeah. deters me mostly from Noida is that it seems like proper, like, uh, it, it's one of those games where you can beat the game, but there's, like, a, a true, real run to do that actually takes, like, three hours or something. Yeah. And as soon as you start playing that game, everyone's like, do the real ending. Play for yep. three hours, a, like, three-hour episode every day. Like, it's yeah. so untenable. No. Impossibly untenable. That's that's why I cut everything up. Like yeah. even with Hades, I was it was starting to just wreck me because all the extra dialogue from the 1.0 was just yeah. so much longer. Yeah, there's a there's a lot. I, I just can't I can't do hour and a half videos unless somebody pays me for it. And even then, I'm like, you really don't want that. Please, please don't ask me to do this. Yeah, I there will probably be some day where I where I chop them up, but I just can't bring myself to do it yet. So that's why I'm just like very strict with what i yeah choose to make a series Your schedule on. I'm, I'm very strict with the also schedule true. very very strict with what i even start because i'm like like atomic crops why did it end it's long it's a very long game yep. also there's not like a there's still not a ton of variety in the runs but there's a lot more I, if they ever add multiplayer to atomic crops oh, i would be yeah. the happiest camper with that game because it feels like it would be perfect it's such having, a natural like, one fit. person yeah, like one one or two people hanging out of the farm, farming, and then everybody else, you know, assuming a full four-man team, just going out and strip mining the world for as much as possible. Yeah, it sounds like a blast, personally. I, yeah. I, would, I would love that. I would love that. Oh, get back to the great bow. This gravity well move is my favorite thing that's happened. Yeah, it's. Like, I will switch to that character. <laughs> it's so nice. Like I wasn't the the, yeah. the move that it replaces. I wasn't even really using. The biggest downside to this character is that the mana orbs you get them twenty percent less frequently. The That's the biggest works. downside, which is a bummer. But yeah, he's clearly the more damage, more damage focused. But you kind of need that all yeah. the same. Also, there's something to be said for the just bringing them all in the same place. The crowd control, it's a big deal too. Yep. Because that, that makes my stomps, like, s spooky good yeah. as opposed to, yeah, just kind of okay. Oh, it's just, and it's just, it's just pretty, too. I just like it. Also, the, uh, maybe it's just because it's the easy one, but the amount of times I've actually had to heal you is very little. And now here's the bosses, I, and I have no none of my orbs, so I'm going to eat my words literally immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my Ooh. god, I died! <laughs> Just instantly ate the, sh the skulls. Yeah. <laughs> well. I'll be back here. Thank you for the orb. I come in, I heal. The best I can. Oh. Alright. Uh oh. Whoa. Oh, I cannot heal. You're again. I'll shield you. Uh, I'm at, you're out of range. Oh, I shield my. Sh if you're out of range, I shield myself. I see. It's okay. I'll just run in circles for a yeah, bit. Never mind. I'm down. Here. Oh, is she, is she getting you? Is she actually getting you? Is she lying? Nope. <laughs> she's she, stupid. But it's okay. Got, More loot for me. Just grab the loot. Just grab the loot. It's for me. <laughs> she's just screaming over here. <laughs> <laughs> Down and 
we just <laughs> can we just go for the warp circle? <laughs> get, get in! <laughs> yes, I can leave. It's not letting us leave. Fine. <laughs> she, she, I love how she claws it around with her daggers to pull herself forward. Oh. <laughs> what a goof. Oh, it's so good. We'll see the sun again. Yeah, I love that. I love that character. Maybe my new favorite. <laughs> wow, we got we got actually good stuff from that. Uh, like way better than the oh. impossible one. Yeah. Is it just because we won? Maybe. I, I mean, Maybe. the stuff I got was. What What did you get that's really good? Because I feel like I my stuff is. I just got a bunch of greens, which I've never gotten oh. as loot before. Oh, I've gotten two. I got two greens. I think we might get different loot. That that would maybe make yeah. sense. Yeah. All right. Well, I. Oh, well, either way, we should probably get you out of the way. So read it, read our dad. Exactly. Oh. Doesn't get mad. Less blight sickness, more vitality. Huh? Yeah, I'm I'm fascinated by this game. I think I, it's it's in a part a game that I feel like I've been looking for for a long time. You know, in a way. Yeah. 